This month's paper in the British Medical Journal explores the association between two major public health issues, obesity and cancer. There is no doubt that cancer is a leading cause of death and obesity is a major public health issue. It has been estimated that the prevalence of obesity has more than doubled since the early 80s and it is projected that we will see significant further increases in the future. And of course obesity has been correlated to several health issues including diabetes, cardiovascular diseases and of course cancer. And several cancer sites have been associated with obesity but some of the evidence may be flawed due to bias and weak study design. It is for this reason that we performed this comprehensive reviews of all the published evidence assessing the association between obesity and any site of cancer. Umbrella Review is a relatively novel study design that applies rigorous statistical tests to appraise the strength and validity of claimed associations in previously published meta-analyses. For our research, we were able to identify over 200 meta-analyses analyzing the association between obesity and 36 different cancer sites. We were able to find strong evidence to support the association between obesity and cancers of esophagus, stomach, colon and rectum, biliary tract system, pancreas, endometrium, ovaries and kidneys, and multiple myeloma. To give you an example, the risk of developing cancer increased by 9% for every 5 unit increase in BMI uh, for colorectal cancer and over 56% for biliary tract system cancer. Other associations could be genuine as well, but more high quality research is still needed. Well, the unavoidable conclusion from this evidence is that obesity increases the risk of developing or dying from cancer. And this is particularly the case for cancers of the digestive organs and for hormonally driven malignancies. And being overweight causes a lot of disruption in many hormonal, molecular and metabolic pathways and excess fat can increase your estrogen levels, your insulin levels and can cause chronic inflammation, all of which affect cell division. But I think the clinical message from all of this evidence is that we now know which cancers are strongly associated with obesity and we can target these high-risk groups that would benefit from targeted prevention strategies. And it is clear that healthcare professionals, particularly in the primary care setting, should focus future attempts in reducing the burden of obesity, particularly in young ages, and as a result, the burden from cancer.